R is now what is C. We want to make R C. Everything a famous French artist once said, this one was made things. One day, if you want to look at this, how about this? This or this? At her point of view, I can feel emotions come from this artworks. I can see the beauty in the eyes from it all, the love come from the kiss, the strength from the great wave of Kanagawa, and the peacefulness from the island of Grand Jack. Why do you feel this thing? Art is a form of communication that connects your emotions instead of the logical brain. Art can influence you and help express your personality and your emotions. If a piece of art made you feel happy or sad, it can say something about itself. If you're ever taking a left or right brain test, then you know your left is where your logical thinking operates and your right is where your brain functions. According to Dr. Alan Bresky, a woman in this position, he claims to achieve a 70% success rate on improving his patient's memories. How? Well, by instructing his patients with Alzheimer's and dementia to paint and draw, I was able to decrease their memory loss. As you know, these symptoms destroy memory and other important mental functions that mostly affect elderly people. Our work should numbers and package, Bresky says. The numbers on your left side of your brain and the right and the balance on your right side. One of them is connect two sides. I was able to benefit seniors by decelerating their memory loss. But can art also help mental illness of children? Art can help anyone with painful emotions, allowing them to describe their emotions without words. Art can connect to that person without having the discomfort of talking about it with someone. I will help that person let his emotions out of his chest. Remember 9-11? During that time, many children lost their parents. Roxy Seppel, a director of child psychiatrist at Senior Sinai Medical Center said, Drawing and painting helps young people show their complicated feelings because children have a natural way of expressing themselves through play. She also mentioned that she also mentioned that children have less understanding when it comes to calamity, which is why art is an appropriate treatment for those children. These are some of the examples drawn by those artists. So going back to my previous question, can art cure mental illness of children? The answer is yes. Art can solve something horrible. But in another way, art can just affect our daily lives. Today, a certain art influences our minds without us hardly noticing it. It's music. Yes, music has become part of our daily lives. We hardly notice it. The other song, our favorite TV show, the background music of our video games, even at school or work, music is everywhere. Studies show children who undertake musical training Increased their academic performances compared to those who didn't receive any training. A group of neurologists research was claimed by undergoing an experiment that consists of 51 children. 59 children. Out of 59, 41 children completed three years of instrumental music instructions. The other 18 co completed no instrumental music instructions. Death. The conclusion made from this research was that children who received three years of instrumental music often formed the control counterparts in two outcomes closely related to music, auditory discrimination abilities and fine motor skills, and two outcomes distantly related to music, vocabulary, and nonverbal listening skills. With this data, it is clear that even though art can cure something horrible such as Cure mental illness, art can just affect our daily life in a composed approach as well. In a really matter, consider Emma Woods. She was inspired by a pretty painting painted by Taylor Leonard. She described the birds and landscape as amazing and filled with bright and colors. After she saw this artwork, she asked her parents to let her, let her take art lessons. 
She wasn't able to raise the magnificent art. That's not the only thing that made her a wonderful artist. You might not believe it, but she was inspired by watching Pokemon, the Japanese art style of all anime, wondering Emma to draw. If art could influence someone, such as my friend Emma Willis in the present, then how about the past? During World War II, while most men were sent to the front lines of the battlefield, women worked in the factories replacing the male workers. Think about it. <laughs> while most men gone, who do you think were working in the factories to run the economy? Do you expect women to stay at home and be the usual housewives? No, of course not. A poster goes to the river with his famous slogan, We Can Do It, serve as an inspiration image to encourage women to boost their work moral and join the workforce. The percentage of women increased by 27% to 37%, and by 1945, one out of four women were in work. One out of four married women were outside their homes. Overall, 350,000 women were in the US, U.S. armed forces. Art made a huge social shift for influencing women to do men's jobs that benefits us in the current community. Art can, art can shift society in small ways too. Do you know the ghost face mask you see in Halloween? That was inspired by another art created during the past, the screen by the monk. This is small art affects art. Another example of art affects art was the Mona Lisa, created during the Renaissance by the well known Leonardo da Vinci. This art influenced Raphael a painter and an architect of the Renaissance. He studied under Leonardo da Vinci and appointed to experts. He sketched Leonardo's works and adopted the Mona Lisa Foreman. This influence can be, can be seen in the portrait of the Mona Lisa Doni. As you can see, both her hands are in the same position, as well as both, both paintings are presented. I have a body portrait. Art is the powerful element that can change someone's perspective. Now, if I ask you, what is art? I don't expect colors and shapes and answer, but the very concept. Art change is still changing the world. Art is a language that anyone can understand. Art shows who you are, all of us, in this auditorium. 